is still buzzing following the Space Coast spectacle yesterday, the launch of the Falcon Heavy rocket. It not only marked an important day in space flight, it also renewed interest and support of space exploration across the U.S. We are joined now by CBS space analyst Bill Harwood. And Bill, you are along the Space Coast right now. You were in the thick of it yesterday with this Falcon Heavy launch. And it certainly seems like new excitement surrounding space has really taken off. Is that the sense that you are getting? Oh, without a question. And uh, I think watching a big new rocket like this take off for the first time is exciting in and of itself. A private company doing it on their own dime for something like a half a billion dollars. That's exciting. Watching those two boosters come down side by side for those pinpoint landings over at the Air Force Station, that's exciting. And then we saw a Tesla with a spacesuited dummy in the driver's seat flying by the Earth on the way into deep space. I mean, how can you top that? <laughs> yeah, you really can't top that. You've been covering uh, space for a long time, Bill. How does yesterday's launch of the Falcon Heavy rank up there with other space exploration first, like say the shuttle program. How does that rate? Well, I, I really think this was a significant event for, for a number of reasons. For one thing, it gives SpaceX a heavy lift rocket uh, so they can compete with United Launch Alliance with the big heavy lift Delta IV. Uh, it gives them a vehicle that could perhaps carry people to the moon at some point. Certainly, they can launch probes into deep space, interplanetary space uh, with this rocket. Um, and I think it really kind of kickstarts the whole commercial industry. It's making people think about what can we do? How much does it have to cost? Can we get the cost down enough to make this a routine event? You know, that is Elon Musk, the founder of SpaceX. That's his goal uh, to make spaceflight more affordable. And I think he's already shaken up the industry even before this rocket. I think this just adds another uh, layer of icing on that cake. I think a lot of competitors are going to have to do what they can uh, to reduce cost uh, and to try to be able to compete with him down the road. I think it's a significant event. And we're looking at some video, just absolutely incredible. And you recently interviewed Elon Musk. What else did he tell you about the capabilities of this and what's next for the future? Well, it's a little bit uncertain because, you know, they've got the Falcon Heavy. They're going to launch this again, but it's not clear how this rocket fits into their long-term plans. You know, uh, Musk has announced plans to build an even bigger rocket, a really gargantuan booster that he sees as the future, the thing that can eventually carry astronauts uh, to the moon or to Mars. You know, how the Falcon Heavy fits into that's a little bit unclear right now. You know, he said last year they were going to use this rocket to send two paying customers on a looping flight around the moon. That <laughs> seems to be on hold now in favor of this new rocket. But, uh, you know, he left the door open that perhaps they can come back to that uh, depending on how the other one goes. So it's a little bit unclear. One thing is clear, however, uh, Elon Musk is a believer uh, in the need to, me to move people out into the solar system. I think that's a, a driving force with him, you know, that's... It's something unique since it's a private company. He doesn't answer to stockholders. He's able to spend his own money on this. And uh, he's made it pretty clear that that is his intention. You know, a, a more traditional company where people are responding to stockholders, you've got to have an immediate return on your investment. That's a harder sell. And I think uh, SpaceX and companies like Blue Origin that Amazon founder Jeff Bezos operates, those sorts of companies, I think, are really stirring things up right now, uh, trying to open a new era in space exploration. Uh, Bill, Elon Musk said yesterday probably the most exciting thing he saw was seeing those boosters land simultaneously. I think for many other people, though, the most exciting thing they saw was a Tesla orbiting in space. <laughs> what is going on with that Tesla right now? Where is it? What is it doing? You know, it, it's interesting. I, I just interviewed an astronomer about just that. Uh, they put out some numbers last night that helped define the orbit. Uh, we believe it went past the moon earlier today. Uh, we think it'll leave Earth's influence, in other words, get out of the gravity of Earth uh, in about a week or so. It's going to pass by Mars, if these calculations are correct, sometime in May. And then next year, it'll reach the far point of its orbit. You know, they were originally shooting for an orbit that would carry it as far as the orbit of Mars. They apparently did better than that with the Falcon Heavy. It's now going to go into the, into the uh, asteroid belt uh, mm. before it loops back around to the inner solar system. So. That Tesla's going to be out there for a while uh, driving around the solar system. I mean, what can you say? You can't make that up. <laughs> no, you can't. You can't. Incredible. Bill Harwood, thank you so much. The enthusiasm for this program is just so exciting. It's contagious. It's nice to see everybody looking in one direction for that mm -hmm. moment in time mm -hmm. yesterday. Thank you.